Yo, what's up guys? I'm here with my team for my first game of the Valley Battle League. I uh, just wanted to go over, you know, my thought process as far as, you know, mods I chose for this game goes. Just to get you guys in a mindset. And uh, yeah, so getting right into it. Uh, first, um, I did a process of elimination. So basically, I decided um, what mods are bad in the matchup and, and I'd automatically just not use them. So for example, uh, if you're looking at my opponent's roster, which I'll probably have somewhere on the screen, uh, it's um, Zapdos, Slowbro, Blissey, uh, Mega Venusaur, Mamoswine, and Blaziken, Saved by Grand Bolt. So automatically I knew the next trick was not a good um, bring here because he has Blissey, Venusaur, Mamoswine. So that's definitely not coming. Um, and Frogadier, um, can't really touch Blissey that well outside like Taunt, but even then, um, best it can do is like low kick for like 20 percent and uh, venusaur with thick fat does not care about ice beam uh, and it really just has a lot of like moveset troubles in this matchup because it wants dark pulse ice beam it wants taunt uh but then it can't touch certain things like blissey so i decided not to use those two because they uh don't really provide anything um so with these six so the first one um glaring motor is incredible in this matchup um because he has a fatter build um which most of it just breaks apart. Uh, Blissey is not the best check because, you know, they plot up as you switch. Um, then you taunt on the T with a toxic and then you just, you know, start flinching it down and then you get into berserk range. And yeah, Blissey like really can't beat this 1v1 reliably. Um, and then everything else like Slowbone Venusaur gets ravaged. Uh, but yeah, um, the set went for S-Slash over Hurricane because it's just better. I don't want to rely on that. Uh, Venusaur still dies to plus two air slash. It's not like Venusaur can even touch Motrice anyway because uh, the speed F is so high. Um, and KO's Gramble at the rocks. Uh, something to keep in mind is that it's immune to Prankster because it's dark type. So um, yeah, and the speed is enough for Adam and Blaze again and Mamoswine, which is 259 and then rest in HP. And it's pretty much Motrice. Um, definitely the um, MVP hopefully in this matchup. Uh, Next, Ladio, super important, helps check Venusaur and Zapdos, like all three of them, um, Zapdos, Slowbar, and Venusaur, um, just because of the typing and being able to force them out, uh, like Slowbro, um dies to um, Psysoc plus Draco if he tries to like pivot in um, and doesn't want to go to Blissey first, um, and Modest is just best here because uh, like nothing else speeds me outside like a Timmy Zapdos, which you shouldn't even be using because not only else speeds Ente, which he has a whole slow burn Venusaur for. Um, so yeah, we have a modest uh, enough speed for modest Zapdos, which is 299 and then rest in HP. Uh, debated between Life Orb and Soul Do, but uh, don't really want to be taking Chip and then I'm like putting Mammoth on Ice Shard range, which is a pretty big threat. Um, so yeah. Uh, Modest Shock has a decent chance to kill Blissey, um, especially after prior damage. It's definitely getting smacked. Um, yeah, Defog. Uh, Roost need to be kept healthy, because like I said, it's my main check to Venusaur. Uh, Clef. Um, yeah, like, pretty much just wins. Um, if I remove, like, Blaziken, or he's. If he's a weak Blaziken set, um, like, not Life Orb or Bandit. Um, Clef can pretty much just beat it. Uh, won't take much damage if he tries to come in. Um, and yeah, uh, Star Power I felt was the best set in this matchup because uh, it does more to Venusaur than Psy Shock. Um, and Blissey still loses to Star Power. does like 60 to 70 at plus 6. Um, so yeah, if he's like a physically defensive Venusaur, uh, at plus 2, this does way more. Red Psy Shock could do like 40. Um, so I went with that. And we pack in so much speed. <laughs> um, this outspeeds Venusaur by one point. Uh, thought process behind this is uh, I can always calm mind up on Venusaur, it's like a panic button type of thing. Um, but we don't panic out here, but uh, yeah, um, so that I won't take as much from Sludge Bomb, and he also has less chances to crit fish because if I'm slower, you know, obviously he can crit, um, it's more likely that it'll do that. Uh, but there's no chance, um, if I'm faster, um, I can knock him out in two. Um, store powers at plus two. Um, so yeah, um, Clef is amazing in this matchup. Uh, beats Sableye, uh, uh, completely wall slow bro. Um, and Blissey outside T Wave, which I want to be mindful of. 
um, next fire thorn um, is my memo swine counter um, not really though uh, if he has superpower but I can scout a gashudon um, I need stealth frogs because I'm running combine cleft so I had to put it somewhere um, thought process behind uh, cost plus um, Endora is basically just I guarantee either kill Mamoswine or get up rocks in a situation where Gar uh, I was about to say Gyarados. Uh, Ferrothorn is heavily whittled. Um, I just get those up, surprise him. Um, and knock out Mamoswine even if uh, he has HP because Gyarados always kills. Um, an explosion, just, you know, get off huge damage on tap. And then I get a free switch into Clef, Lottie, fire off a side shot, um, fire off a calm mind. Did I just say fire off a. Never mind, <laughs> but uh, yeah, um, pretty pretty cool set in testing. Um, helps wall non HP fire Venusaur, which he should be though. Um, but yeah, uh, next Entei is pretty annoying with sub toxic versus slow bro. Um, yeah, uh, enough speed for Adamant Blaziken and Mamoswine. Uh, enough defense so that Sableye's knockoff did not break this up. Um, this can potentially sweep if I remove Slowbro. Um, you know, just pressure it, Latios and Rocks, things like that. Uh, and then next, we have Gastrodon as my main check to an offensive Zapdos. Um, and Slowbro, if I don't want to risk uh, Latios on Ferrothorn getting Scald Burnt or Clef on a T Wave. It's just the safest mid ground versus those. Um, yeah, Recover Toxic Protect. Don't really need Earth Power, it doesn't hit anything. Uh, Beside Blaziken, which, you know, still hit by Scald. And uh, Rocky Helmet, uh, just to punish a potential um, like U turn, Zap Dose or something. Um, and yeah, just gashing on his best. Uh, the spread lets me take two modest hurricanes at the rocks, I think. I don't remember. But yeah, that's pretty much the team, and we'll be back with the game. We got the game versus Jershidis. I think that's how you pronounce that. But anyway, uh, Basically, I wanted to go about winning this game uh, again. There's more trays. Uh, it just pretty much just sweeps. Uh, Slowbro and Venusaur um, get ravaged. Uh, this gets taunted. Uh, and really, the only problem is Mamoswine Ice Shard. If it's banded, I'm going to do a ton. And then put me in range of. Uh, well, basically, Cyber Toss plus Ice Shard be able to kill me. But other than that, uh, Motris is excellent, um, as I expected. Um, Issue is finding a setup opportunity as well, because uh, I don't want to hard switch into Venus or Sludge Bomb and take 40%. Then I cannot deal with Mamoswine after that. Uh, Latios is excellent because his uh, Psy Shock resist is slow, bro, um, which is good straight gold. Like, he really has to play around it a lot. I like, go slow, bro, on Psy Shock if he doesn't want Bussy getting two killed potentially, and then go and Gramble on Draco. But other than that, there's really no way for him to deal with Latios. And, like, Defensively takes on uh, Zapdos, Slowbro, and Venusaur. Yeah, those are my two uh, like main members. Uh, as far as how I'm gonna break through um, the Fat Mons, uh, yeah, it's pretty much just late game. Moltres, Eladios, Clef, the sweeps. Uh, outside, like a Bandit Mamoswine, you can't really hit it too hard. Or spec zap those switch. I'm never gonna switch Clef hard into Zap anyway. Um, I see him versus Slowbro and Blissey as they can't do much. And yeah, Clef is great. Pharaoh uh, is there to guard against the Mammoth Swine. Uh, superpower um, sucks to deal with, but other than that, Star Fox pretty important, so I can you know pressure Slowbro and Venusaur. Um, whoops, Entei is pretty annoying. Um, Though he has thick fat Venusaur and stuff like that in combination with bros. So, uh, I'm also going to be using it to beat down his team to open up other members such as Clef, you know, Leaks Venusaur in versus that. Um, and Gastronaut is mostly there to guard against Zapdos, Mamoswine, Slowbro. It's really difficult to kill like straight up without Venusaur. Um, so if I remove that, he has a lot of trouble killing Gastronaut. So I don't really like have a extreme proper game plan like I usually do. It's just like, you know, and like you know a couple mons hit win so i just play it that way play it safe uh don't really need to do anything flashy 
but uh, yeah, let's get into the game. So, um, I lead Gashadon. I figured that's the best team matchup because it beats four out of the six. Uh, Zap, Slowbro, Mammo, uh, Grand Ball can just scald. He takes Rocky Helmet, but uh, he's Blissey and stuff. This makes sense because it does well versus everything beside Ente. Uh, go straight Pharaoh here just to trade rocks, and I don't want to take a toxic. Um, it was hard Venusaur, so pretty um, obvious. Let me be fire here as I uh, go into here as a mid ground because um, knockoff is something um, he could go for, and Radio's getting knocked there would just be bad. Um, and it's not a good play, and uh, and it's pretty free versus Pharaoh because I like, can't touch Venusaur. So go into there, just a couple for that. And uh, pretty solid positioning as I'm able to just fire off Sacred Fires um, and beat down a Venusaur. Uh, he leaves it in, which uh, I don't necessarily agree with because uh, Slowbro's like, only purpose is to guard against this. But uh, what this does is open up Clef. Um, trading Entei there means that uh, one of his you know best fairy answers is gone after Roxy at 10%. So he can't even come in on Moonblast. Um, and recover up. Um, so now he's just relying on Blissey to handle Clef, which is, doesn't even handle outside, you know, Paras plus Cosmic Toss. So, decided to trade my Entei there, which I felt was the best overall play. Because um, it wasn't doing anything versus Slow Brainius. Ugh, anyway, besides Toxic. And uh, go to Latios here. Um, he guards very poorly against Psy Shock. So, let's click that. It's free as he goes hard Blissey. Um, it's a road to a KO. I decided to go for it. Uh, I could have been a bit more patient and not have went for it. Could have went hard Pharaoh there. But the thing is, he could have recovered up and I had made no progress. Whereas with just going on straight for side shocks on the Blissey, I remove one of the things that can switch into Mo Trace um, and can like T Wave Clef and deal with Gashadon. So, eh. Uh, like I said, like not too. Um, it's mostly like a result of like not game planning is solidly, but I mean, eh, I mean, it's fine. Uh, I think beating Blissey in exchange for Lottie was pretty fine there. Uh, as I go hard to Pharaoh on Mammoth Swine, um, just the best play. I'm able to tank um, even Bandit, Ice School Crash <clears throat> after Stealth Rock as a main zap. I'm able to cover up with Gashadon. Uh, it will be offensive based on the damage. As I hear, he can't go hard to Venusaur because if I just scald, uh, he'll die. Or scald, you know, plus burn. Let's say that scald is like 8% or something, which is very unlikely. Um, he'll die to that plus burn. So we can't even risk Venusaur there. Um, so he pivots to slow bros, makes a lot of sense. As I go Clef mainly as a bait i want him to go to venusaur because that's the only thing that can uh recover up um no oh, let me rephrase that was the only thing that can really uh come in and recover for free um is versus cleft right so um i really wanted to just bait him in to going to you know venusaur because so i know he's going to teleport but um here's where that speed comes into play i knock out that venusaur from 10 percent uh which is huge because that was the only thing that could really deal with Gashadon at that point. So two of the best Gashadon answers are dead um, in exchange for Clef taking a future site. So huge, huge turn for me as uh, he brings in Mammoth Swine. Uh, I just go Ferrothorn here. Uh, again, it's only here for this. Um, I could have went for Endor to get my cuss stab. Um, but thing is, I was like thinking he probably should expect that. And just go for shard the following turn and just kill me so it's pretty much be a waste but just to show it off or if he didn't want to go for ice shard for some reason i uh, definitely could have just went for endure there to basically ensure the win because really this is the only thing that threatens lottie and uh Moltres at that point like zap can't even kill lottie from uh 70 at the rocks um and i drake go knock that out and yeah there's really don't think it could threaten me at this point but I don't know, I figured he'd just go for eye shot anyway if I went to Endor. So just let Ferret don't go there as he's forced to superpower because I don't think Iki would knock me out from there. As um, I may be able to go to Clef and get off a free soft boiled because uh, he's at minus one. And I can't mind up. Um, 
it's not really a reason not to really uh he reveals t-wave which uh kind of sucks because that means i can't outspeed gramble as he goes for another one he missed the first one but here i went for moonblast uh just best play because uh if i beat the slow down down um, that means you cannot like pivot into grass on anymore um and moonblast at plus two does 59 to 70 um so that para there was huge because he either be dead or a lot lower than he was um because you know at that point astronauts click skull right so um not being able to hit slower there um it's pretty unfortunate but we have to deal uh it goes to grand bowl i'm assuming it's some sort of offensive set but i can't really switch into it because i have no fair resist at this point so uh, i kind of have to stay in and go for two moon blasts to knock him out hopefully you know para and i do not so grand bowl is down as he goes to mammoth swine i decided to actually sag lottie because uh really don't think you can deal with at this point is slow bro but um i don't know and motrace also deals with that and parrot is not really the best because it has to deal with like potential confusion um from zap and uh yeah like, i don't know i i felt like keeping the 20 percent clef was better because i could heal up on slow bro um so yeah and then like potentially see him up and try to win um later on so i don't know i, I think that's just the best sack so i just thought a lot of was there um because what this allows for me to go to cash it on is called um now here uh i actually thought about just doubling to motrace which would have ended the game but if he for some reason decides to make some random play and decides to crash uh which would make no sense because if he loses uh if he loses mammoth swine um can't really deal with motrace anymore uh but uh, just in case he decided to stay in um man yeah, i just went for scald just to be safe honestly if i doubled there like i said the game was pretty much over because be forced to sack something because i'd also go down to two uh fiery wraths and you know obviously slowbro would die um but I decided to play a more patient game, uh, no need to rush. Uh, again, I could have doubled just to make this game a lot easier, but uh, yeah, I can still win, like regardless of that. Uh, it goes for Ice Crash and misses Justice for the uh, the para with Clef. Um, had Slowbro not been alive or as high as it is, um, these last couple of turns would have played out much differently. So yeah, I mean, it's kind of fair to miss that, honestly. Uh, he hit how many of them? Yeah, he hit like four of them before. So he was going to eventually miss one. Uh, honestly, I would have just earthquake if I was him just to get the guaranteed damage off. There's no way I'm going Motrace there. But I guess he figured if I tried to come in on an earthquake uh, plus future side, Motrace would be the best thing to cover that. But that's never to play in case he actually crashed. But uh, he does miss, which means that I can recover up on Zapdos. Like, pretty much everything. Um, Future Sight plus Crash would have meant I died to a Hurricane, but I no longer do. Uh, had he uh, got the Ice Crash Crash off, uh, what I plan to do there was just go to Motrace and Fiery Wrath, because Zap can never kill Motrace um, from full, especially because um, it's so bulky. And then I uh, took a kill, and then Slowbro was dead. So I think I won either way, but it just made it um, much more simple um, with that as. You future size again as I protect just to be safe from the combination of your hurricane and future site. Because uh, if I took a hurricane plus future site, I think I'd be much lower. Um, yeah, like 20% or something. Um, so, just go for protect, comes in there, comes into play there. Uh, been able to dodge future site as it pretty much just recovers spam. Um, no reason not to, as he's forced to switch again, could have doubled, but there's no need to. Um, game is done as soon as I get Motrice in on Slowbro, which I'm going to do now. Because uh, he's just been mindlessly future siding. So I figured it'd be the best time. And here, uh, just knock out Slowbro. He can't switch because Zapdos will go down to two. Um, so he kind of has to bank on Zapdos pulling it out versus the last three, which is unlikely. Because uh, the Gashadon, yeah, it's still at 100%. So lose, barring any like confusions and stuff. So I'm able to switch it in on the future side there, which is cool. Um, yeah, pretty solid game. 
Um, yeah, hopefully I can be back with some more uh, games soon. And uh, yeah, peace.